Hey guys, how are you? I hope everybody's having a good time logging in and getting work done today. Uh, checking out cool videos and music and all that good stuff. I see many people have been turning in some assignments on the Google Classroom with This Day in History. Continue to do that. Thank you very much. Uh, follow the links that are there. Remember, everything Miss Servjack and I are doing are based off links that are on Google Classroom or posted on Dojo. If you follow those links, uh, many times you're going to also see videos that explain what you're doing um, and what you could do and what the project is. Uh, also, look me up on YouTube under my name. Uh, some of you are already subscribed because I'm posting videos there, including people who are on smart music. Uh, check that out. And again, please continue to have uh, contacts with some of your classmates, some of you talk anyway. We have a couple extra people on today that we didn't yesterday, and that's good. Um, again, this is somewhat for a grade, somewhat for your enjoyment, but participation is crucial. And you can see we're still missing a good many people from each grade. So let's keep moving on. You know, the more time we're home, the more uh, we're going to rely on these uh, online services. So please keep practicing. Um, and let's move on here. So let's open this up. Oop, sorry. No, 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 no. I want to open this up in Mixer. So when you go to Mixer, uh, there is a, a file attached that explains this assignment, um, along with the video that I posted yesterday that showed you how to create using these tracks, coming over to the instruments, collecting, selecting, excuse me, new track. But uh, if you just want to basically focus on loops, let me illustrate a little bit of what was put out in that um uh, Word, Word doc today. So you would come over to loops and you have all these to select from. So let me see. Oh, IDM, that's pretty intense. Uh, dark hop. No, no, him. Let's go to this baseline. So you, you get these, right? Okay. So here it is. You can reset loops, loop packs. That goes back to this. So all loops because we selected that. So let's drop this loop here. Let's drop it in here. No, you don't, you don't want to do that? Let's drop this one. Uh, oh, yeah, because that's already a selected instrument. Excuse me. So we drop this here, and this comes in like this. Let's go ahead and get rid of, get rid of this track because there was nothing on it. We're going to take this. And once you double left click it, you see it down here. You can manipulate it a little bit, but I'm going to expand this out to 26. I'm going to line it right up there. Then I'm going to take this and add it here, and it automatically lines it up. Then I'm going to go here, loop, and I'm going to jump to here, and I'm going to add these. Now, I'm doing this really quickly just to show you guys how we put these together, you know, how you drop them into the tracks. However, you guys really could just listen to them before we do this. Oh, that one didn't expand. So we're going to hit Control Z and undo it. Um, you guys, you know, you have to see what they sound like. I'm not doing that. And I'm not even paying attention to what I'm clicking. This is more like a quick demonstration. So let's see how this panned out. I'm going to go back to here and that. Let's go FX. Uh-huh. So again, you know, you see they're broken down by FX, drums, bass, and I'm not paying attention to any of that. When you guys are working on this, you know, take a few minutes. You could even, uh, yeah. Oh, it's dropping it automatically by double left clicking it. How cool is that? I didn't even know that feature because I'm still like learning how to play on this. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's start playing from here. And unlike here, when you expand it, it loops it. This did not, so for future reference, don't do that. Baseline over drums, one cowbell, one little hi-hat. Doesn't sound terrible. You know, let's add some bass. What did I pick? Lofi 14. So let's keep looping Lofi 14. Then I'm going to pick Lofi, lo excuse me, and then 14 again. I'm an old man. I don't know technology. 
What are you talking about? All right, let's go over here to Digital Dub. What just happened? Oh, it kept going. It just, it just kept going. That's all. All right. So we're gonna pause. That scared me. The, everything disappeared. Okay. This is gonna go like this, and we are gonna go ahead and select all these things. Move them over. Select all this. Move it over. Do 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 do. Close this so we can see. This over. Shazam. Then we're going to hit play so it shifts. Pause. Let's shift it by clicking on the bar here. And then we're going to go to loops. More bass. Put that there. Now we're going to go to drums. And just keep steady drums playing. What did I pick? Caribbean. Caribbean some. All right, Caribbean 3, Caribbean 3, okay, that pretty much lights it up, percussion, and one more Caribbean percussion, I think it was 3, if it wasn't, oh well, all right, so. That really does sound driven. And again, as long as you line these up. It, I would not listen to this on the radio. <laughs> but you guys can see how you do this. So... The other video covered how you lay down these tracks. You go to add track, you pick up the source, you can go to, um, actually, let's click on this right here. You can go to a creator kit, you know, play around with those using your keyboard. And then you have these by hitting loops and dropping them over. This is actually very, very, very good software. Um, if you know how to play with it a little bit and manipulate it. Um, you can also see I've hooked up a voice mic to do the recording, so you can actually add a voice blah 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 okay um anyway i hope that helps you guys with this uh remember you must you must first log on using the links and the codes provided you go to band lab edu that's your google search if you don't use the link in google classroom you can use the link we left for you in google classroom then you go to or you can just do a Google search, Band Lab EDU, and then you create an account, use the code that we provided, you will find the class, you will be able to create this and drop it into the class, and if you want, we could share it, or you could, I'm sure, copy a link out, but we'll work on that later. Right now, just please start working on this, you guys, you know, it's doing the two Fridays from now, so um, create, man, create, because I, I'd hate to have to start giving out, like, you know, the standard worksheets. This is so much more. Once you guys create your assignments, we can definitely work on learning some elements of music without too much stress or worry based on the work you guys provide. It should be really cool. Uh, so please, all right? You guys take care, have fun, and... I'll see you soon. Spread the word, y'all. Don't change the world with music. Okay. Bye.